What's good, y'all? Rich Sosa back in the building with another banger, man. So as you can see by the looks of the title and the screen today, I got another very special center build coming at y'all today. Going to be called the Glass Cleaning Facilitator 610. Going to be able to break ankles as well. And then on top of all that, we're going to be able to get all of the standing contact dunks in the game. So also, I just got to go ahead and say thank you, God, for giving me this opportunity. Thank y'all for the support. But man, if you want to jump on board, y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Anybody looking to join the Rich Gang family RGF? Go ahead and turn on post notifications, but just be sure to go ahead and hit that like button, y'all. I would appreciate it if we can get at least 50 likes on this video. Be sure to share it with your family and friends, man. And last but not least, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into the making of this video. So, when it comes down to the position on this build, of course, we gotta go ahead and put it under the center position. If you were paying attention, you would already know that. But from here, this is where things are gonna get even better. So when it comes down to the height, weight, and wingspan, this tends to be a very crucial part, not only with this position, but any position in the game. So I'm gonna go with 6'10 on this build. I know if you want to, you can definitely go with the taller height but i'm telling you 610 is really going to be perfect when it comes down to honestly the playmaking with this build but also a big thing the physicals now when it comes to the weight i'm going to go with the lowest being 215 and then when it comes down to the wingspan i'm going to go with 73 you can really change this based off of your own preference do not worry about that but i'm telling you if you go anything smaller than 610 you're not going to be able to get the dunks unlocked that you want so i recommend at least going with 610 now when it comes down to these stats, just please be sure to follow along exactly as I show y'all. Everything that goes into this build is going to be very crucial when it comes down to this build name. So now, let's just go ahead and get started when it comes down to the finishing. So, with that close shot, I'm going to go with an 86. Driving layup going to be the same exact thing. But if you wanted to, you can actually go with an 80. It really just comes down to your preference on this. Now, when it comes down to the driving dunk, of course, you want to go ahead and max that out. But go ahead and put the standing dunk exactly to a 91. One tick over what we need to get all of the dunks unlocked for right there. So honestly, that is going to work out with the contacts. Now, let's go ahead and just say we leave it at 27 badges for the finishing. That's a really good setup, especially when you get into the shooting. Right here, we're going to go with the mid-range shot of 82 and a three-pointer of 81. Right there, we're going to be able to get 25 badges. So honestly, this works out even better. And then, when you look at that free throw, we're going to go with an 81. You honestly want to be able to take any build that you make into any game mode. That is why I make them with the free throw. But if you decide to take it off on this build, you can go about it that way. But I'm telling you, you are taking a huge risk. Now, when it comes down to the playmaking, I'm going to go with the pass accuracy of 79. Ball handle of 74, which is going to be perfect, and then the speed with ball of 62. And we're going to be able to get 19 badges out of this part. Really solid so far. Let's go ahead and get into the last part, which is going to be the defense, y'all. So when it comes down to the interior, I'm going to go with a 68. When it comes down to the perimeter, I'm going to go with the 75. Now, for the steal, if you want to max it out, you definitely can do so, but I'm going to go with the 68. Block, going to be a 96. And then when it comes down to the rebounding, offensive, going to go up to a 73 defensive gonna go up to an 82 and right here we're gonna be able to maintain 27 defensive badges and as you can see the badges that we actually unlock for each of these categories is not going to be bad at all especially when it comes down to this defensive end we get about six hall of fame badges honestly some of them are going to be really solid to use and a lot of them are main ones that you would put on when it comes down to the playmaking right here we have a lot of silver badges that are going to be a huge help especially considering you are 610 and you're still going to be able to dribble with this kind of build so honestly that is a huge w in my opinion and then when it comes down to the shooting we also get a good amount of badges here. Really, when it comes down to it, for the shooting, you're going to be able to get five Hall of Fame shooting badges. But honestly, this is a really nice setup, especially if you decide to go ahead and add in a little bit of post scoring to your game. With Hall of Fame Fade Ace, that can definitely change up how this build is going to play. But now, let's go ahead and take one last look at the finishing right here. We get a lot of gold and Hall of Fame badges. Few silver, but honestly, the main ones that we want to put on are going to be in the higher tiers. And remember, 
we still got four more overalls to use just for the physicals so that means this build is actually going to be able to be really well rounded when it comes down to it especially with what animations we're going to be able to unlock so let's go ahead and get into the physicals now speed going to be maxed out at a 74 acceleration now this is all based on what you want to do but i'm telling you you definitely want to go ahead and max out the acceleration according to doing what you do with the speed now what i mean by that is if you are making a build and you don't put anything towards the speed don't go ahead and put it towards the acceleration if you're just going to leave it low but with this build we're going to go ahead and max out both make sure you go with a 75 vertical that is going to be perfect when it comes down to the stamina go ahead and max it out at 90 and right here this is pretty much the final setup that we will be going with remember you're going to be getting a plus three badges from each season that we have completed and then also a plus four from the rebirth making this build with over 100 badges and on top of all that it's really going to be a comp build especially when it's used in the right hands now the thing that i really like about this build is how we're going to be able to shoot just as good as any other build especially with which takeover that you do decide to go with so we get the shot creating takeover also going to be able to get the sharp shooting then from there we're also going to be able to get the playmaking which is going to allow us to speed boost and then last but definitely not least we also get the rim protecting so go ahead and pick whichever one is based off of your own preference and play style for me the one that's really going to take this build over the top in my opinion is going to be the shot creating ankle breaking shots takeover now if you wanted to you could even go with pull up precision but i'm telling you if you do decide to go with the ankle breaking shots being 610 breaking ankles is going to make the game much funner to you but also make you a much better ball handler all around now when it comes to the second takeover if you want to speed boost in takeover you can go ahead and pick the playmaking one, but if you want to go ahead and help out more on the defensive end, I would go with paint intimidation or stuff blocks. Either or of these options, in my opinion, are going to be some really good ones to pick from. So just go ahead and pick whichever one you feel more comfortable with. For me, I would say stuff blocks, but we do have a high block, so I'm going to go with paint intimidation. And as y'all can see, we have made the first ever 610 speed boosting 100 plus badge with all contact dunks glass cleaning facilitator out of the center build i love the comparisons of deandra aiden also got anthony davis on carl anthony towns now let's just go ahead and take a quick look at what this build is going to be looking like so as you can see with this shot creating takeover we're going to be able to get a plus 10 and then also get the plus 8 from buying boost and running with teammates they're going to be having hall of fame floor general and defensive leader so essentially in takeover mid-range shot will be a 99 same thing for the three-pointer when it comes down to the defensive end though here is where things get very special so when it comes down to the defensive rebound we're going to be in the 90s you're pretty much going to get a 99 block going to be a 99 perimeter defense going to be in the high 80s or the low 90s same exact thing for the offensive rebound but when it comes down to the interior defense and the steal both of these are going to be able to hit the high 80s so honestly if you decided to go with the playmaking takeover in takeover for the playmaking you're going to be able to speed boost let's just go ahead and say you switch anything up about this build just remember you need to add the plus 10 to which takeover you decided to go with but now let's go ahead and get into the breakdown of these badges so when it comes down to the finishing we got 27 we're going to be able to work with i'm going to go with gold posterizer also rise up hall of fame unstrippable silver fearless finisher and limitless takeoff and then i'm going to go with gold slithery finisher and bronze fast twitch now let's go ahead and get into the shooting for me i'm going to go with silver blinders gold corner specialist also got to go ahead and add in catch and shoot dead eye and then from there i'm going to go with hall of fame sniper hot zone hunter you cannot forget about that and then when it comes down to the last ones i'm going to go with silver difficult shots as well as bronze volume shooter now let's go ahead and get into the playmaking so what i'm going to go ahead and do is first go ahead and put on unpluckable on silver from there i'm also going to go ahead and add in handles for days quick first step as well as triple threat juke now the rest of the way these really come down to what you want to do if you want to add more badges for the dribbling go ahead and do so but if you want to add more to help out your teammates you can also go about it that way if you feel more comfortable doing that i'm going to leave that up to y'all but now let's go ahead and get into the defensive end so to start it off as you can see i'm going to go with hustler and hall of fame gold rim protector and then from here you cannot forget about chase down artist or intimidator we still got a good amount of badges remaining so i'm going to go with the rebound chaser there's another really good one that i like as well on bronze and that's going to be 
powerless defender pickpocket and then for the very last one this comes down to what you want to do but i would really consider ball stripper this is a setup that i would be running as you can see for the defensive end we get 27 badges when it comes down to the playmaking we get 19 shooting 25 unlocked and then for the finishing we get 27 again man i just gotta say thank y'all for the support thank god for giving me this opportunity i hope y'all are having a great start to your week monday is here man so go ahead and do something today that's gonna put you ahead tomorrow i need y'all to know that i love y'all i appreciate y'all and man y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Anybody looking to join the Rich Gang family, RGF, go ahead and turn on post notifications. But just be sure to go ahead and hit that like button. I would appreciate it if we can get at least 50 likes on this banger. Be sure to share it with your family and friends. And last but not least, with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Thank God and Rich out.